Hello and welcome to another review of Watching Time. Today I'm going to bring you a new watch. Uh, this is a, an old Swiss company that are producing new vintage watches from their old collection. So uh, the name is Olek and Weiss. Olek and Weiss was born in Swiss, uh, in Zurich in 1956. And they uh, dedicated their manufacturing at the time on producing uh, well-renowned divers and technical instruments watches. Uh, these watches obviously were very well known and used during the period and some of their models and designs inspire many other companies that design divers watches. Also, uh, some uh, kickstarting and uh, micro brands companies today try to re redo some of their old models a couple of years back for example, Crepas is one of them, uh, bringing back their old style. We are lucky because Oleg & Weiss has returned to business and they have returned with all their vintage watches that they are launching over the last few years. The last one, the 2020 uh, new launch, is the Ocean Graph S. So I'm going to bring you today the Ocean Graph S, which is one of their latest models. Actually, the first 56 produce ever produced of these ones were numbered, and I'm one of the lucky ones with a number on the crown of which one of the 56 this is. So uh, let's say some interesting things about the company first. The company, uh, Oleg and & Weiss, and I hope I'm pronouncing it right. It's not the easiest name to pronounce. Uh, <laughs> produces their watches in, in Zurich and they declare on their website that their watches are 90% Swiss made. As a matter of fact, the stainless steel case that are produced on the case packs, they are all brushed and, and produced on the Swiss Jura. So uh, one of the interesting things about these models and uh, as a diver watch is that for the reduced size that it has, it's a 39.5 millimeters case. This is actually a 1000 meter diving uh, water resistance. And this is actually incredible for the size and for the, of the type of watches. I'm going to show you just next to it one of my watches that actually resembles a lot because as you know the 60s divers there were quite similar in in those brands so this is the omega uh, seamaster 300 as you can see the shape of the of the case i find i think it's quite similar and of the bezel even if the omega is a little bit bigger uh, and uh, what you can see is that the inspiration is definitely there of the 60s diver so uh, another interesting thing about the Ocean Graph S is that it includes a decompression bezel. So this is actually an instrumental watch that divers can use to calculate the amount of time that they need to decompress and come out. I'm not a professional diver. I'm not even an amateur diver for, for the matter of fact, but uh, I suppose this is quite useful, uh, especially in the 60s where you, you didn't have any digital instruments to calculate the decompression time. And it's a quite nice detail, I think, to have this uh, different vessel compared to other watches that are being produced nowadays as divers. I, I find it quite unique. The other interesting thing is the color. This is a very unique kind of silverish blue, very light, very beautiful. And the contrast between the orange indexes, it's amazing. I really love it. And it just pops to your eyes when you're watching your watch. And I found a very interesting thing when I expose it to the UV light uh, under the sun. Obviously, we're going to recreate it here with a small lamp. And as you can see, the, the watch hands are actually yellow when they glow in the night, while the indexes are orange. And this gives a very, very nice contrast when you are uh, especially diving or in the dark. So. Another thing that I find quite amusing and interesting for you to evaluate on this brand is the bracelet. The bracelet, it's, as you can see, full polish, kind of a rice uh, design. It's very, very comfortable. You can actually see how it flex on it and it wears perfect. In, on the inside, it's smooth. It doesn't give you any, any problem. And, and I think also having the spaces between it if you wanted to dive actually with the steel uh, bracelet, this is going to be really comfortable. It has a, a clasp that it's kind of the classic clasps that they were using on the 60s. The only thing that 
I like a little bit less about this watch is actually the closing clasp. But uh, if you follow in my videos, you know I have a little problem with the <laughs> closing clasp. This one in particular, it closes most of the time well. Uh, but the, the fact that it's not a full stainless steel uh, closing clasp, uh, it's something that I don't prefer. But this actually works and it's part of the vintage style. So I suppose the, when they choose to keep it this way, it was to, to remain uh, close to the original vintage watch. Actually, the original piece uh, of this watch was produced in 1968. And, uh, and the only difference that we find with the modern version is that the center links were actually polished at the time. So, what other thing can I tell you about it? It's obviously 90% Swiss made produce and the mechanism that you find inside of this watch is actually an ETA 28242 that is uh, modified and tested by Oleg and Weiss with a, a rotor specifically made with their logo inside. The back case is obviously closed and they uh, declare that they managed today to arrive to this uh, 1000 water resistance because of the uh, strengthened case with uh, a thicker uh, stainless steel use and also a thicker uh, sapphire double dome uh, glass that they have used on this, which is fantastic. I think it's around 5.6 millimeters thick. Uh, the, the watch works great. I really like the colors and it works perfect. There are two versions on their website. You can find the stainless steels like this one and another one with the Sperlon uh, strap, which is this one. And it's quite beautiful also. Sperlon straps, you know, this is of very good quality, but they are quite thin. And, and I think they're particularly comfortable when you're in summer probably, and you are wearing this on the beach or something like that. So maybe after the, the whole lockdown, maybe people can start going to the beach again. This is the, the box that comes with the watch. It's not nothing fancy. It's just a small watch with a, a leather pouch and the warranty card. The leather pouch, you can keep the watch inside. I think this is quite nice. Uh, also nowadays that uh, many brands, they tend to produce big, big boxes. Uh, I, I particularly don't like them, especially because I have a room <laughs> full of boxes of watches that I don't know what to do with, but if you, put the boxes to the rubbish bin, then you're going to lose some value on the watches and it's something that do, us collectors don't want to do. So for me, it's a big problem keeping the boxes. This one on the other side, hi, I find it quite beautiful, nice design, very vintage style. You can put it wherever you want. It's very small and practical and you have a small leather pouch that you can actually use to keep your watches and, and travel and keep it with them. You also have this info card that comes inside with it with a little bit of information from the I think it actually it's a it's a copy of the of the publicity that they use in the in the years past and it has all this vintage kind of black and white stuff so anyway that's pretty much it I think this is a, a very nice watch that can actually be wear in many occasions very unique in design uh, uh, there are no many diverse watches, as I was saying, with a decompression vessel. So this renders this watch uh, unique. The color is very nice. And, and I think the combination between the steel bracelet and if you have the opportunity to also have the Sperlon, uh, this is fantastic for the summer or for your daily uses. And if you are a diver, I think you're definitely going to like the decompression uh, characteristics. So. Thank you very much for following me. Until next time, please click a like if you like this video.